Well, let's get started. Are you ready to get connected? I, uh, I don't think I got that. Are, are you ready to get connected? I'll tell you what, uh, what do you think about the band? Good band? Yeah. Listen, uh, I know what half these guys are cheering for. Did y'all notice the drummer? Dude, hey, that was a chick. <laughs> that was a chick. I, I guess, so I bet you some of you want to get connected with me right now, because guess what I got? Backstage passes. All right, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Are you ready to get connected with Chad Hymas? Meet one of the world's most dynamic speakers. If you listen to what I share with you, I'll make this promise to you. When you walk out of these doors tonight, when you leave here, you will set world records. The Wall Street Journal calls Chad Hymas one of the 10 most inspirational speakers in the world. Chad Hymas is in great demand as a speaker, delivering a personal yet powerful message to audiences across America. At the age of 27, Chad's life changed instantly when an accident left him a quadriplegic. Tragedy? No. Chad is an accomplished speaker, wheelchair athlete, author, father, and husband whose unique experiences will give you new vision. Let Chad Hymas get connected with your audience. Not too long ago, my family and I had the opportunity to take a vacation to Las Vegas. We were wandering down the strip one afternoon when my brother noticed not too far off in the distance a roller coaster. My brother looked at me and said, Chad, doesn't that look like fun? I said, no. <laughs> no. That doesn't look like much fun at all. My brother then turned to my wife and said, Shondell, we're going to get Chad on that roller coaster. I said, over my dead body. Now, I don't think before I say things sometimes, this body is about as dead as it gets. <laughs> and you also have to understand that me being in a wheelchair, I really don't have a whole lot of say about what happens in my life anymore. <laughs> For example, my wife will get me up in the morning and she'll say, Sweetheart, what would you like to wear today? Gentlemen, I answer the same thing every day. Jeans and a t-shirt, please. And then she puts on me whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny. I've discovered that I wear outfits. So I leaned to my brother, who was sitting beside me, and I said, Brian, you keep a hold of these legs. I don't want him to exit this ride. Well, my wife and brother quickly came to my rescue to untangle me and transfer me back into my wheelchair, and it was then that we realized, indeed, I do have bladder failure. <laughs> And the biggest thrill for me that day was seeing the face of the gal who was next in line to take my seat. It wasn't long ago that Chad's life changed when an accident occurred on his ranch. A one-ton bale of hay came crashing down on Chad, breaking three of the seven vertebrae in his neck. Chad was told by doctors that he'd never be the same as he was pronounced a quadriplegic paralyzed from the chest down. I'll, I'll be very frank with you here. Uh, when I broke my neck, dreams shattered only because I let my circumstance shatter them. Uh, very key right here, very, very key. I remember my dad coming to me one day. Uh, I had kind of a, a rough day and uh, he said, Chad, dreams aren't destroyed by your circumstance. Dreams are destroyed by your belief. So what do you believe about your dreams? And for the first time in my life, at the age of 27, I got completely disconnected from hope, from having any kind of results, because I saw no vision in this. None. My father came to my bedside. He said, do you want to know how to get ahead? I said, Dad, help me take this away. What? To, I don't want to be married like this. I don't like... He said, son, you're not listening to me. You're still caught up in blame and why and what you can't control. 
He said, it's not those that fail in this life that get ahead, but those that fail faster. Chad Hymas is the president of his own communications company and an internet marketing company. He's a member of the National Speakers Association and at 32 years old is one of the youngest ever to receive the Certified Speaking Professional designation. Chad travels as many as 150,000 miles a year speaking to hundreds of public and civic organizations, healthcare professionals, educators and corporations such as Wells Fargo, Blue Cross Blue Shield, AT&T, Rainbird, Intermountain Healthcare, American Express, Prudential Life, Vast Effects, Zion Securities, and others. I love speaking to people of, of a variety of organizations and different groups. I've been fortunate enough to speak with uh, a small groups of 20 and as large as 15,000. on different topics of leadership, mastering change, uh, customer service. Those are my areas of expertise. And do homework together. Wow. We asked her about her dad, gentlemen. We wanted to know what he did. This is what she said. That's mine. Here you go. We want you. Use the other side, please use this side. What happens when you all get hot? You sweat. <laughs> I don't sweat at all. Seriously. Period. Sounds like a modern miracle to most of you, doesn't it? <laughs> I've saved a lot of money in deodorant, and I have a lot more friends than many of you in this room for that very, very reason. I love what I do today. I get to spend time with literally thousands of people all over the world. It's been a, been a marvelous blessing. Chad is also an author and has been featured in many newspaper and magazine articles. Chad is a world-class wheelchair athlete, enjoying basketball, full-contact quad rugby, hang gliding, and skiing. In 2003, Chad Hymas set a world record by wheeling his chair over 500 miles between Salt Lake City, Utah, and Las Vegas, Nevada. People always talk about that world record, and they ask me about it. And my comment is really that that was probably the stupidest world record that I've ever set in my life. Train for a marathon that would take me up to two weeks to complete if I could complete it. A marathon that encompassed three different states, Utah, Nevada, and Arizona. By the end of the first day, as I went through Tooele County, I had headwinds of over 25 miles per hour. Day two and three, I hit huge crickets. Now crickets don't seem like such a big obstacle when you're in a car, but when you're in a wheelchair, Day four, five, and six, as I went through Delta County, I had temperatures of over 107 degrees during the day and 62 degrees at night. Too hot to wheel during the day, too cold to wheel at night. I said, it's got to get easier than this. The following day, I hit Beaver Mountain, a mountain that I had dreaded the whole time during the course of training, a mountain that increased in over 2,300 feet in just nine miles. It took me 14 hours to get to the top. The greatest world records are the small things that uh, have, have come into my life because of my change in belief. And that's what I want people to leave my, my sessions with. I want them to leave by believing that they can set world records within them, their own lives, depending upon what they believe, within their own organizations, do things they never dreamed of. Chad Hymas will inspire your people to set world records at work and at home by showing them how to have new vision. He'll teach your audience how to grow and prosper during challenging times. Chad knows how to take his personal message and weave your meeting theme and objectives into a moving presentation you'll never forget. One of the most difficult things for me to relearn how to do again was to relearn how to balance again. For those of you sitting down, you're balancing by using the balls and toes of your feet and your stomach muscles. I have none of that. I'm numb from the chest down. I remember spending hours and hours on my mattress at home, sitting on the mattress with the feet on the floor. Shondell would stand in front of me and she'd put her index finger on the crown of my head. My three-year-old son would stand on the bed behind me. I love spending time with people. I have found great joy in that. I consider what I do not to be a job, but it's been a... Uh, you can call it a blessing, you can call it a miracle. I put both hands out to the side and if I even lifted one hand up, even an inch, I would fall to that side. Well, after months of practice, I was finally able to lift both of my arms up into a position like this. 
You can call it fate because of my mentor. You can call it serendipity. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. I just know that it's what I get to do today, and I get to spend time with people all over the world. And it's been a, it's been a great joy for Shondell and I, and been a, it's been a, been a calling. And when I had done that, my son whispered in my ear, Daddy, you're flying. You're flying. In a world of constant change, it's inevitable that we learn to see things from a new perspective. With new vision. Chad Hymas has that vision. His experiences are amazing. His message is inspiring. His message will change you for a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, let Chad Hymas get connected with your audience. Absolutely moved by Chad's performance tonight, by his message, by his delivery. He absolutely connects with the audience in a powerful, clear, succinct way. He delivers humor and hope and emotion and power. Chad Hymas is the most fantastic speaker I've ever heard in my life. And I've heard some of the greats. Thanks for your consideration and having me come to your event. I'd like to get connected with your audience.